Here's Lizzie. Cheers. <laughs> I can't wait to try all this food. Lizzie has grown almost all of this in her backyard, a tiny little backyard in Melbourne. She moved in here only six months ago, planted her first thing. May. May. So what's that? Four, Four months ago. Four. And she's already grown tons and tons of veggies. So I'm going to show you exactly how she does it. Should we do it? Let's do it. Oh yeah, that's good. Before we get started, I record vegetable garden tours at least every month here in Melbourne, Australia. If you don't want to miss the next one, hit subscribe now. Also like this video. And if you want to get email alerts when my garden tours are uploaded, drop your email address in the distribution list. There's a drop down link that you might see up the top now. I'll also put it in the description. We sort of know each other quite well, <laughs> but until recently, we probably would have been in the arch rivals category. I would say, <laughs> yeah, I know, it's one of those weird things. It was, a, I think that's what's been so nice about gardening is you meet all these people or find people who maybe ordinarily, I mean, yeah, we had the same job, we both worked as reporters, but probably aside from that, other than seeing each other at you know, on we a had job. a lot in common, but it was nothing, but it to, was do nothing with this. to do with this. <laughs> some of you know this, some of you don't. I am on mat leave at the moment, but I'm a TV news reporter for seven. Lizzie oh. was a TV news reporter for Channel 9, and <laughs> Channel 9 are like our biggest competition. Everyone's so. friendly, so it's good. It's one of those weird things, isn't it? <laughs> like, we're supposed to be competitive, yet. I Everyone's think, friends. <laughs> well, I think the people you get to know best in the industry are the fellow journos. Yes, hundred percent. You spend so and you spend time. every day with them. When on a job, would I have turned to you and been like, "So I don't know about you, but my zucchini is looking great." Like, <laughs> what sort of compost are you using? <laughs> it's the same for cooking for me. I'm like, when you find other people who love that, and then all you want to do is talk about ingredients, share recipes, do all of that, and then it becomes a nice little. Yeah, nice little community. You're ready for it, aren't you? All right, I'll show you around the side. So yes, down here, we just put in um, our little olive hedging. These are dwarf ones, but they will fruit. So we're very excited about that. And as you can see, because of the weather, we got a little bit DIY. <laughs> How long until they are expected to fruit? You know? I actually don't know, but if you look, some of them do are starting to form little buds. Oh, so yeah, they'll be really nice. I think they're, they're only supposed to support only supposed to get up to two and a half meters so we'll see i started watching one of your videos it was like it was like the best kind of jump scare because i was like <laughs> yeah wow she's got a she's got a really good voice again things people always say to reporters right and then i saw you and i was like oh my goodness i think i said to well and i was like well well and he was like i don't know what you i have no idea why you're so excited about this but yeah, yeah it was nice it's and so nice to find other people who like us so we'd been using the side before we put the olives in just to compost all our kitchen waste so the soil is pretty much perfect so you put it your waste straight in there yeah just actually... just dug it in like awesome I, I don't know what they call it my mum used to do it so <laughs> so I figured it would probably be okay so then yes this is our humble little veggie patch oh, don't come it. at me for the severe lack of trellis here we've un so we understand what we've done veins. they're so good try it. like you can try on they we have one this morning they're um there you go I don't think there's anything better oh, than sweet. snow peas straight off the vine. Oh, Can so I take sweet. another one? Yeah, go, go. I'm, just, yeah, I'm yeah. trying to film and eat at the same time. There, there we go. All of my mm. snow peas have just been smashed this year and I haven't had a success oh, really? with any of them. Mm. I think it's just beginner's luck that we haven't, gosh, these look a bit droopy. Haven't had anything really like... That's the Westgate Tunnel for those of us flying at home. So yeah, look, she'll need to trail at this point i think i'm just gonna let it i've just given up it's growing snow peas it's that's fine. all you really care so these about. i mean these are tiny these little veggie boxes when we bought them i sort of thought they were going to be like all the other ones you see on you know in these beautiful country estates and they'd be like the big plants boxes and i will say i i was a bit ah, but actually they've kind of been the perfect size because we don't really have a whole heap of time to be watering and stuff so you could even yeah. put these on a balcony 100 100 and so we do you remember the dimensions i think they're 110 along maybe 110 120 and we were surprised how much crams into them too paint me through what you're actually okay. growing we've seen this so we've peas. got snow peas we've got rainbow beetroot which is looking a little sad and droopy we can take him out like he's perfect so actually i'll grab him out now because we'll probably so they're little, they're nice they're and little, but he tasted sweet. So we're pretty happy with that. 
Now Thank this you. is actually your first full yeah, harvest. First. Isn't so it? we put I was looking this morning. We moved in in April and I think we planted in probably put the veggies in mid May. So they've been in four months. Yeah. So it That's shot up. Amazing. The carrots, this was all carrots, rainbow carrots. We probably just did not read that, yes, of course, you're supposed to thin carrots. So we thin them not really of late. An ordinary person wouldn't know that. Well, that always looks like a green carrot. Yeah, yeah so they, really they're supposed to be rainbow. We thin them a bit late and had to, you know, sort of unravel the ones that were hugging. Yeah, we haven't tried any of these, so that's on the way. And then fennel, this was all fennel, and we've had so much fennel. That was one of those ones we weren't sure if we were supposed to thin it out. But we really like fennel in salads, so figured. I mean, it's not super cheap at the grocery store. The leafy bits are supposed to be really good for keeping away aphids. I'm just gonna move my lettuce a little <laughs> bit closer in that. We'll just put him right there. The thing you've done quite differently to me is when I started gardening, I just, I was very impulsive. I had <laughs> some little seedlings and I just shoved them in pots. You've yeah. clearly set this up really well. Yeah, I had a, I think it was maybe like a nice stern word from my mum to go, don't buy your potting mix from insert hardware store here. Yeah. Uh, well, she said, she was like, if you want to give it a proper go, you, maybe a little bit like you when you started of when this is going to be my go, hobby. go, go, don't well, you? Yeah, but also <laughs> like, I just, I'm going to latch onto this yeah. and I really, I'll, I'll like do all the research in the world for two weeks and then I'll forget about it. Luckily yeah. I carried through on this. Yeah. But I think that was probably where I first started like looking at videos and podcasts and things because all of a sudden I realized I was like, oh, you've got to layer your soil. Like I was really, I was, I, I just became obsessed with like, what am I putting in this soil? And you've got to let the soil rest for a couple of weeks. And I was like, Poor my father-in-law like, said the same yeah. thing. I set up my soil when I finally got a really good garden yeah, bed going. Like, Great. And he good said, leave it for a few weeks. And I was like, no. no. And you look out, I'm like looking at these boxes and what was like, oh, we'll just plant them, we'll just whack them in, we'll whack yeah. them in. And did I was you? like, no. Now we oh, wait, I well think done. we really waited like two weeks. Yeah, we did not put much in there. It was soil compost and again like just from the store we weren't even we'd only just moved in we weren't even doing our own compost and then a bit of blood and bone again and then yeah let it rest for two weeks which is the worst two weeks of my life because i'm so impatient and i think that was the hardest thing like yeah it all looks beautiful now and obviously we've harvested some but oh my goodness like four months for me i don't i don't take four months to do anything do you know what i mean like if it's if I'm not doing it then and there, I'm not doing it. Sorry, lettuce in pots um, and a few of which we've, we've kind of already harvested quite a bit of lettuce. So that's been easy. That's just been for kind of sandwiches and salads, which is perfect. And they really don't need much space, do they? No, got those ones are tiny. And then our kale, which has really gone gangbusters. And you can see it's already gone to seed. So we actually need to whip a lot of this out. The purple kale was super stubborn, took ages, finally shot up but we've been harvesting heaps of this and then didn't realize that there was a surprise little Tuscan kale. Yeah, I know in there. That. One of the seeds maybe got mixed maybe. up. Did you plant them from seeds No, or they were seedlings. So you think I would have realized, but I did not. What's well, a bonus. So yeah, there's that bonus. And then a couple of little herbs and things. Can you believe how much food you've got out of this? I was trying to do the maths on it the other day. I was looking up after we went to the shops, like how much one fennel is. And I was like, great, we've saved $15. And my partner <laughs> said he was like, nobody talk about how much it took to, to plant it all in the soil. But I think it's also just, for us, it's been the enjoyment. It's so much nicer to be able to serve something and say you've grown it. It's such a better flex. Have you yeah. stopped to think about how much it did cost you? Yeah, <laughs> look, it's in the hundreds. I reckon, I mean, the planter boxes were the biggest thing, probably. And then because we did the landscaping and things at the same I time, the that probably really added to it. There were a lot of Bunnings trips for DIY, random little bits and pieces. I reckon all up, yeah. I mean, these alone, <laughs> it, it's more than $500. I'd like to think it's less than a thousand. Have you had a thousand dollars worth of joy and satisfaction? Oh, I was going to say vegetables. Absolutely not. <laughs> joy and satisfaction. Joy you and satisfaction. Yeah, 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 Life, yeah. happiness. Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, spring, summer will be really in our prime because I mainly cook zucchini, tomatoes, all of those sorts of things. Everyone keeps saying, don't plant too many zucchinis. You'll have so many. And I can't wait because I love zucchini. So 
Well, if you have too many, I yeah. will have to get you my mother-in-law's pickles recipe. Oh, okay. Yes, There's yes, yes. There's nothing better. Oh, how good. Oh, yeah. See, he's good. I didn't realize how um, rudy they were, though. They're very... Oh. Yeah. I love okay, fennel. He's a good size. Pop him in, too. Beetroot leaves are like a spinach, but they're really yummy. Oh, okay. So don't don't throw waste away those. The yeah. Leaves. Okay, great. Have really? you ever tried kale chips? Yeah, every like every night. It's the favorite. <laughs> I kid myself that it's healthy, but yeah, it that's why healthy. that's they're why I grew so much. Them, it? And, uh, They've like, got to be packed full yeah. of iron, sure. Hundred percent olive oil, greens. salt done. They're perfect. When I was much younger. Um, I worked at a really nice salad shop and they did this phenomenal kale salad that was like kale garlic bread. Ooh. So it was like a roast garlic dressing, parmesan, croutons. Oh, it was yeah. like perfect. So I think I always have visions of that when I have kale. And I use the um, Tuscan kale to colour pasta dough. Ah. Yeah, so blend it into a puree and then you get, well, you're supposed to get like a beautiful dark green pasta mine always sort of is like slightly less appetizing than that i don't really eat the tuscan kale as much but it's great because it's the dark color and our little bubba lemon tree who hopefully oh, yeah. this, survived, this survived from our apartment he was pot bound for like a year two years maybe so he's just kind of been stagnant and then my you mum love being in the ground yeah. I've yeah. heard lots of good He'll stories just... about similar lemon trees yeah. that go in the ground the and roots then they just... free up and they just mm. go I'm hoping so. This is the second of a two-part series. In the other video, Lizzie Moss teaches us how to prepare some delicious dishes using all the produce she's just harvested. A link to that video should be at the top of your screen now. I'll also put it in the description. If you haven't subscribed yet, do that now so you don't miss my next garden tour. You can also check out Lizzie's delicious dishes on her Instagram page, Pasta Please. That link is also in the description text. Lemony. <laughs>